Chef Christopher Gross, and I'm learning where we're going with this dish because we've already been working with a little bit of lamb. Um, we've just seasoned with just a little bit of salt and pepper because it's going to be tender all on its own. Mm -hmm. And I just salt pepper. This is the one that's done. This is one we're browning. Uh -huh. But to make the sauce, you can have some lamb stock or veal stock. Mm -hmm. Not too many people have it at home. You can use some chicken broth. I got a little a bit of champagne because that's for the next dish. And we just bring this up, and we get all these little goodies from here. And this usually takes a minute or so. And while this evaporates, see how it's turning nice and brown? Uh -huh. And you can slice that up there. We're going on the kind of a, an angle? You can be as any way you want to do Should it. Should I be, you know? That's okay. In my house, I don't use. So that's a nice medium rare. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of butter to this to make our sauce. We've talked about this before, but I think it's worth mentioning. When you typically cook, you like to control the, the salt, so you use unsalted butter, right? Yes. Uh, and, but for the table, uh, I like to use salted butter. Because uh, if you know, I go out to a restaurant or something, and I love bread, and I love butter, I'll always make sure there's salt on the table so I can salt the butter salt. on the bread. Because it oh, tastes so good. I've never tried that. Okay, so there. There so you there. go. Beautiful. You're hired. We're looking for people. <laughs> right uh, now I'm still gainfully employed, but you know what? I'll let you know a little later. <laughs> so we just put that on top of the tomatoes like that. And then we can put the sauce over and serve just simple dish. And that's where we've used those tomatoes. Now okay. for the fish, fish. We'll flip we're going to get rid of that. And this is just a piece of halibut that I've taken a knife and I've cut it open. And you like working with halibut for this recipe? Why? Oh, sole halibut, John Dory, any kind of white fish. Salmon Something that's would be fine. Something more like a little steaky, not so flaky. Um, it, it really, really doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Oh, okay. Nope. And so I got a little olive oil, and I'm using. This is white wine, but the recipe calls for champagne. Okay. You can use whatever, salt, pepper. And now we put the fish in here, and because it's so thin, it's not going to take long to cook. Now, um, should we color. be looking for that to evaporate a little bit more, or you want us to be kind of cooking it in that? Well, it's going to steam in there. The alcohol is going to burn off. Okay. It's going to cook the fish. When the fish is done, there'll be a little bit of liquid there, and then we're going to finish the sauce in the next segment. And then I brought something that everyone has in their house, <laughs> and these are just some black truffles. You are probably the, the chef on the show that uses truffles more in your food preparation than, than Well, they're so good, and unfortunately, they're so expensive. I think that it's indicative of your very expensive uh, taste. Yes, but our restaurant's not very expensive. No, <laughs> no, it's not. I was referring more to your motorcycle. <laughs> oh, my Ducati. <laughs> your Ducati. I, I love that. My track bike. So go play on the, on the track out at Firebird. I know. We, get, we get to the heart of him. So we're cooking that with some truffles. This would be thinly sliced mushrooms or anything. Okay. And then what we're going to do is, at the end, uh, next segment, we're going to show you how to make a fast, quick, easy sauce out of this. Okay. And you can do this with anything. And I have the tomatoes here from uh, the, that we cooked over here. They can also be a garnish for this dish as well. And they're using the bay leaf as a garnish as well. That we cooked, uh, uh, that's flavored this mm -hmm. oil. That's going to make a nice vinaigrette for that so many other things. That is one big bay leaf. Mine are usually <laughs> little tiny things about a quarter of the size. Well, we get them on a little tree, the fresh ones. And, I so, see. Another little trick of the Instead of the jar. Yeah, you know. well, you know. So. I'm just a mere mortal, you know. Well, you can get all these things if you look. I know. The truffles are a little hard. They're like uh, $800 a pound now. That's all? Yeah. The white ones will probably be about 2000 that's it? Plus, that's it. <laughs> that's so. why you go to Christopher's and you eat a very reasonably priced meal with all of the indulgences that you can't necessarily afford to bring to your own table. Okay, so that looks like it's really starting to, to, starting um, to cook. Starting to cook. And it's going to have all the flavor of the mushroom mm. or herbs or anything else you might want to add to this. Very good. So we'll we are not done cooking yet. Stick around. We are going to uh, check back in with Christopher at the end of the show to finish off the dish. And then, of course, Andy will be back to do some tasting. You know she will. <laughs> so we'll get to that in just a little bit. But with the holiday season comes lots of goodies that are, quite frankly, loaded with lots of sugar. So after the break, how to keep your sweet tooth under control.